Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. Till now, we have seen the different LaTeX commands and we explored a new and efficient way of creating documents using it. Well, when it comes to conveying ideas in front of public, we generally use presentation. Beamer is a document class which helps us do it. So, in this session, we will learn to create presentations using Beamer. To get started, we write Beamer as a document class. Then, we begin and end the document environment as usual. Now, each slide in a presentation is known as a frame. So, inside the document environment, we write multiple frame environments. The syntax is slash begin frame and slash end frame. The arguments T, C and B in box brackets denote the alignment of the text on the slide. Note that this is optional. This is then followed by the frame title in curly braces. Well, this too is not necessary. One can have a slide without a title. That's it. The rest are just the latex commands that we know. Let's see a demo. I am switching to text studio. So, I already have Beamer as a document class and some latex commands like title, author and date. Finally, the begin and end document. Now, let's write slash begin frame and the content we create another frame slash begin frame we say welcome everyone and we have the title as welcome all right let's build and run there you go we have two slides the first one without the title and the second one with the title welcome. Would it not be nice if we could have a slide with the title of the presentation, the author's name and a date? Can you think of some command which can do this? Yes, you guessed it correct, our very own make title command. So, let us write slash make title in the first frame, slash make title. Let us build and run. As you can see, we now have the title page created for us. If you remember, we mentioned about specifying the alignment in box brackets. Let us write T for the second frame. Build and run. Notice that the content aligned to the top of the slide. By default, it was vertically centered. Let us write B. Build and run. Notice that the content has moved to the bottom of the slide. Well, at least for me, I prefer to have the content vertically centered. It looks good, so let us remove it. This might be needed in certain cases and hence it is better to be aware of. Let us build and run to revert back. Let us switch back to our slides. The slides that we just prepared looked very plain, isn't it? So, we have the facility to choose a theme that we like. There are two commands that we use, slash use theme and slash use color theme. The hard work link mentioned here lists various themes and color themes which we can use. Let us have a look at the link. You can scroll vertically as well as horizontally to know the different themes and color themes. The themes are mentioned vertically while the color themes are mentioned horizontally. For example, I can choose an arbor theme with the default color theme or I could choose an arbor with beaver color theme, etc. Let us try these out. I am switching to text studio. We come here and we write slash use theme A N N A R B O R and slash use color theme and we write crane, build and run. As you can see, the slides are styled, the footer contains the name of the author the title of the presentation and the date and the slide number. Isn't this colorful and easy? 
Let's try out a few more. Let's try out Dresden, D R E S D E N, and the color theme as Beaver, B A V E R. Build and run. As you can see, the theme and the color theme have changed. Let's try out one more. B E R K E L E Y, the Berkeley theme, and let's use the color theme as default. Build and run. Notice this looks a bit different than the others. Let's switch back to our slides. Whenever we create documents, we create table of contents. Similarly, in Beamer, we use the same command to convey the readers what points are we going to cover. This is usually written in a slide called outline. So, let's see a demo. Let's add a frame called outline. We write this just after the make title command. So, we write slash begin frame outline which is the title of our frame and we write slash table of contents. In curly braces and not box brackets. Let us build and run. Well, there is no content here. Any guess? Yes, the reason is that we have not mentioned section, subsection, etc. We write them just before the begin frame command. Let us write a section called welcome slash section welcome. Build and run. There you go. We have the outline as welcome. Let us create two more slides. As stated earlier, all the latex commands remain the same, whether we want to include an image, create a table, itemize the points, etc. I already have some code, let us copy paste it. Let us paste them after the welcome slide. This is the code that includes an image and this is the code that creates a table. Well, let us include the package graphicx slash use package graphicx. All right. Let us add a section called slash section bird and another section called definitions. Okay. Let us build and run. So, this is a slide containing an image and this is a slide containing the definitions. Let us see the outline. So, we have welcome, bird and definitions. Also notice the section titles have appeared in the left pane as well and depending on which slide we are on, the appropriate section gets highlighted. Note that these are clickable and you can navigate to the intended slide by clicking on the section title. I would suggest that you open the PDF file and view it in presentation mode. Browse through the slides to get a feel of it. So, coming to an end of this session, you can create presentation using Beamer. Thank you. Have a nice day.